Hey guys, it's Kim from Kim Side Money Plans. Welcome back. I am excited to be here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a full-time multi-apper that does DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub coming to you from New Jersey. My channel is all about being inspiring and motivating and giving you guys insights. So if this is something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, everybody give this video a thumbs up. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about the timings and estimated timings on the acceptance screens and how important they are in your decision making process. So we're going to get into that today because I really firmly believe that time is money. So guys, I'm ready to kick off today. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go do this. Okay, so I'm excited to talk about this topic because I'm actually really passionate about this topic because I think it's a really big, important part of making a decision to take orders um, when you are looking at acceptance screens. So this idea of video comes from, I was chatting on Instagram with Lou from Mary and Lou from the Long Island Dash Experience. If you have a moment, go check out their channel. They are multi-appers just like me, and they are fun, they're exciting, they give great information, so go ahead and go check them out. But we were talking the other day, or chatting on Instagram, I should say, about how important timing and estimated times are in the acceptance screens, and to me, they are super important and what do I mean by that so when I look at an acceptance screen obviously you look at the dollar amount because let's let's face it money talks right and then I look at the miles and how many miles it is but then I really look at how long is each one of these orders are going to take me because let's face it and every market is different and you can put in any dollar amount but I am trying to achieve a $25 an hour per hour goal and you can put any goal that you want to put in there and also I have a goal in order to achieve that $25 of doing three orders per hour as well and that's usually my mix and my formula and how I achieve the numbers that I achieve and when you're looking at estimated times, whether it's estimated delivery for DoorDash or the estimated time it's going to take you to do the order on Uber Eats, to me it's really important because, and I'm going to give you guys an example, if you are going to take, and this is going to sound like a fantastic order, you're going to take an $8 order, it's only going 3 miles and but it's going to take you a half hour to do to me that's going to cause me to go er, because if it's going to take me a half hour to complete just that one eight hour order and the next half hour i have for the hour that i have to complete i'm going to have to do two more orders and they're going to have to be over eight dollars in order for me to achieve my 25 dollar an hour goal but I'm gonna say the same breath. If I'm going to take, I'm making this up, a $12 order, but it's going six miles, but it's only gonna take me 14 minutes, I'm gonna jump all over that order because A, it's $12, and then I still have 45 more minutes to achieve two more deliveries in the hour. And to me, that's when you're gonna be a little bit more profitable because you're turning orders quicker when you're looking at the timing of each and every order. And with DoorDash, you have to do a little math because they gave you the estimated delivery time. So I just had an order a little while ago and it says it was gonna take me a half hour. I knew the restaurant and they could get backed up, but it was earlier in the day. So I'm like, no, no, I don't think they're gonna be backed up. And it ended up taking me 20 minutes as well. So 20 minutes, it was a $9.50 order. To me, that was a good time invested because I still had 40 more minutes 
to achieve two more orders to achieve my $25 an hour goal. So I'm just gonna challenge you guys to, when you're looking at acceptance screens, whether it's DoorDash or Uber Eats, look at the timing of each one of your orders. If you look at the timing, and not just the, you know, the dollar amount and the miles, the timing might actually help you make a better decision in whether you can turn around orders quicker, opposed to taking orders that you thought were fantastic, but they might take you 30 to 40 minutes to complete, and then you still didn't achieve the dollar per hour that you were trying to achieve. So today, I'm gonna try to give you guys some examples of what I'm talking about as I'm going throughout my day, but I think it's just super important and a little bit eye-opening that it actually might help you even achieve a little bit more money in your pockets just by opening your eyes to the timing of each one of your orders. So guys, I have to go pick up my first order and I'll be back to give you more examples throughout the day. Okay, so let's talk about this Uber Eats order that I just took and I'm about ready to go and grab this order. So first thing, it's $9.11. Okay, it's the, the first order of the day. I will say I do lower my expectations at the beginning of my day because I know it's a little hard to, you know, get going a little bit. So $9.11, it's going five miles. So it's still over a, di a dollar per mile ratio. Do I like it to be $2? Yes, but is it always realistic? No, to me, as long as I can get as close to it as possible, that's usually what I look at. Now, the second thing is, it's saying it's going to take me 19 minutes to complete. In my book, I'm like, okay, 19 minutes, not too horrible because I'm at the beginning of the hour and if I can complete it actually even quicker, I'm always trying to do it quicker than what the time is gonna do because time is money and that's where the hustle piece comes in. But if it's 19 minutes, it still gives me 40 more minutes to get two more orders done within the hour. So I took this order knowing the timing, knowing the dollar amount, and knowing the miles. So I am gonna go in and hit the turning point in Little Silver. I know you guys don't know what Little Silver is, but the turning point, it's a breakfast place. So let me go in, let me go grab the order, and I'll be on my way. Okay, so while I was in, getting my, the first order, an add-on order came through for Uber Eats. So it's saying it's $13.68, so check. It's only going 3.6 miles, so check again. But it's gonna take me, t according to this, 27 minutes. So if you add the 27 minutes on top of the 19 minutes, the whole batch order is gonna take me 46 minutes for $22, so it falls a little short of my $25 an hour. However, if I can do both of these orders quicker, there's a chance I can get another order in before the hour is over with, but I really looked at the 27 minutes, and at first I'm like, oh yes, $13.68 score, and then I looked at the miles, 3.6, and I'm like, yes, good miles, and then I looked at the timing, and I'm like, ugh, the timing. I, there's a chance I'll only achieve the $22 an hour, but there's a possibility of me getting it done quicker and I can get one more. So I took the chance knowing that I can probably get these orders done. I was, the order I just did was a grab and go, and usually Greens and Grains, which is my next restaurant, is also a grab and go, which is why I think I can do this quicker. So that's where the hustle comes in. So I'm gonna hustle my butt to the next restaurant so I can get this done quickly. $53. So I just completed the last act order and I am waiting on my next order. But while I'm waiting on my next order, I did want to show you. I know it's like a bad example and I would have I wouldn't have taken this order 
anyway, but I want to give you an example. Ooh, hold on, that water's coming in. Let's see if it's good. It is not good. <laughs> so, just to give you the breakdown, so we'll do this live while it's happening. So, it is 6.5 miles for $7. So, it's a dollar per mile, a little over a dollar per mile, which I'm not crazy about during this time. First of all, it's going to an area that I'm not crazy about going because it takes, uh, takes forever to get there. It's saying I, it's now 12.10. It's saying I'm going to be delivering by 12.43. So it's saying it's going to take me 33 minutes to complete a $7 order. So this is what I'm ta talking about. The dollar to time ratio is if I took that order for $7 and it took me 33 minutes to complete, I would need... Uh, I wouldn't even come close to making my $25 an hour if I took that order because I would only have less than a half hour. I would have 27 minutes in order to get, did I do my math right? I'm like, am I doing my math right? <laughs> in order to get 20, no, 18 more dollars. Wow, that was, that was difficult to do my math in my head for half a second. So it would take me, I would need, yeah, that's crazy. So that's why that order would not work. Another example is I got this order and I know no one would take this. Ooh, I'm getting a McDonald's order. We all know I love McDonald's. At least I thought I was getting a McDonald's order. Come on. Sorry, I'm like shaking my head. It's a no tip order, $2.75 to go 2.5 miles. So we're gonna decline this order. Decline, order too small, submit. So I'm going now back to another one I got. So this one is, and this is a crazy, crazy order to be talking about. So I got this order at 12.06. It is the Willow Deli, it's a regular deli. It's saying it's gonna take, this is why these orders are, to me are so ridiculously crazy when you like really sit and analyze them. So they're telling me I should take an order for 12.1 miles. Hold on, I'm getting another order. Ugh, no, I'm not taking this one either. It is six miles to go, $9, but it's telling me it's gonna take me 40 minutes to complete, which also during my lunchtime, I always have a shorter window, so I try not to take long distance orders, and I try not to take, like, timing-wise long orders unless it's worth the money, and this is totally not worth the money. Okay, so going back to this one. So it's 12.1 wilds. It's saying they're only offering me $8. So basically they're telling me that this is going to take a whole hour to complete $8. So they're telling me that I'm only going to make $8 in this hour if I took that order. Which to me is absolutely absurd and ridiculous. Which is why some of these orders are just crazy. And I'm not taking this one either. Oh. So anyway, let me try to find my next order, but I wanted to give you like a DoorDash example of timing for DoorDash because you sometimes have to figure out some of the timing in your head in order to make a really good decision on DoorDash. And so I am taking this one. This one's actually good. So it's $7.75. It's only going 1.5 miles. Right now it's 12.14. It's saying to deliver by 12.29. So basically it's saying it's going to take me 14 minutes. To complete this order so I can possibly if each order was shorter I could possibly get three maybe even four more orders in the hour that I have so to me this is a really good order and I took it and I am on my way okay you guys so the time is 201 hopefully you can see that just a reminder I started at 10 o'clock this morning 
So as I'm driving, I really want to spend some time with my family tonight and I was thinking how can I actually end up doing that and still work and still achieve what I'm trying to do and I am going to take this video in a completely different direction at this point because I had the idea, I've been wanting to do this for a while, I'm going to work a straight shift all the way through until about six o'clock tonight just to see in my market I haven't done this in such a long time maybe things have changed see what it's like to work 10 to 6 and what my totals end up being so that way we can really compare you know what a W-2 banker hour job relates to in the gig world so that's what we're gonna do so I have a Dunkin order I'm gonna pull up to the window and we're gonna continue on so I'm just gonna give you one more example today of minutes versus money versus miles and I think this is a good example so I just took an order it was on uber eats for ten dollars and forty cents it's saying it's gonna be 5.7 miles but it's only gonna take me 11 minutes because majority of it is highway driving so when it's only gonna take 11 minutes heck yeah I scooped that bad boy up especially 11 minutes ten dollars um score so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go grab this order and we'll be doing an 11 minute order for ten dollars so what's not to love about that okay so it is quarter after four I have in a hundred and twenty nine dollars and seventy five cents to be completely exact it was a little bit of a rough afternoon after like two o'clock I went like probably for like a 45 minute span where there were no orders coming in and then finally I got an order and it was only like a couple blocks away from where it was at and it just so happened to be the same time all of the schools were being let out and it literally probably took me 15 minutes just to go three freaking blocks so that was a little on the frustration frustrating side so I have two hours to go and we're gonna do the best we can in those two hours so I'm a little behind and we're gonna keep on going okay you guys so it is 6 15 everything is gonna is everything is shut off and I'm heading home because I'm gonna have dinner with my family tonight this is what I'm gonna say if I work 10 to 6 or 9 to 5 I would not be making the $200 goal that I have set for myself every single day. It just wasn't busy enough during the times that I needed it to be busy. So before I went full time, I did these little shifts and experiments to know exactly when the peak times are in my area. And that's how I came up with 11 to two and five to close because I really believe in working smarter and not longer and harder. And I really try to jam pack as much as I can in the peak times that are available in my area. And a lot of it was trial by error. And I suggest you guys go and do the same thing. If I worked in my area, to be completely honest and blunt, if I worked in my area nine to five or 10 to six, I would think like I would have the slowest area ever because there were periods of times this afternoon where I just wasn't getting orders and I went to a parking lot that I normally sit in and I was just waiting on orders to come in versus the times that I go out I know are the peak times and I'm constantly always going and I'm constantly getting orders and that is how I'm getting to a lot of my totals that I'm getting to so I encourage you guys to find out what your peak times are in your area and if you want to maximize your money those are the times that you're going to work in but every area is going to be different so you're going to have to do a lot of figuring out and trial by error in your own area so that would be my word of advice is figure it out what works for you, what works for your area. You know, if you are set, set in stone, I'm going to work 9 to 5 or 10 to 6, you just might not be able to maximize the amount what your area has to offer. But maybe in your area, that is your busiest times. You never know what each area is going to bring to the plate. But you know what? Figure it out for yourself but really figure out when your peak times are and that's what's going to make you the most successful so guys 
I'm gonna give you guys my numbers in a little bit. Let me head on home and we're calling it a day. Okay, you guys, I am ready to get right into the numbers of today. So for DoorDash, I did $16.25, $7.75, cents. so a total of $34.75 on Grubhub I did $59.95 and then on Uber Eats I did $87.58 so my total for today was $182.28 I worked eight hours so on an average I did $23.12 an hour and then as far as deliveries are concerned, I did five DoorDash deliveries, four Grubhub deliveries, and nine Uber Eats deliveries, a total of 18 deliveries altogether. So on an average, I did $10.11 a delivery. Hey, you guys, so those are my totals for today. Once again, if you're new to my channel and drive for Grubhub, Uber Eats, or DoorDash, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Everybody give this video a thumbs up. And guys, that's it for today. If you are driving, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you a little bit later. Peace out.